as somebody you grew up with Jews and in a mix, uh, uh, you're a Christian Arab, and you grew up with Muslims, Jews, Christians, what message would you give Palestinians in the West Bank who, or outside of, of the region who say Jews and Arabs can't live together? Uh, I can understand them because they live in different reality and it's sometimes imagination is something hard to do. You can't imagine sometimes some stuff, but we can work on imagination and we can present some realities of how Jews and Arabs can exist in one place together. Uh, so for sure there's some, some certain conditions that should be respectful from both sides about how to live with each other, but um, yes, I think I will tell them that these things is exist. Sadly, it's not that much, but it is exist, and uh, I, I confirm that it exists, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. You're leading to what I wanted to. So, yeah, I know, because I heard you speak we, but before. It, 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 exists, it exists in specific places. Okay. In so I know you're critical of what people call coexistence and shared cities and things like that, because you say so, not, it, it I, seems a little bit bullshitty. It's bullshitty because it, this thing does not really exist, but... So, should you give me an example of something you think is true coexistence? Yeah, the Jewish or uh, political activism together from much better place it is exist. Okay. Uh, two parties together it is exist. In Hadash, as a, as a party. In, in for example, yes. Okay. Yes, if you want it or not. not I, know, I know this party is very criticized, but it, we work together for this place to be much better for both sides and uh, because nobody gonna leave, you know, everybody is stuck here, so we need to study how to live with each other and respect each other backgrounds and history and what's happened to us here for both sides. Uh, but it does exist. Yeah, it does exist. I hope it will be much better in the future than now. Yes, there are people in Ramallah who say no. לא רוצים שלום. אבל הצבא שלך לא כולם אותו דבר. יש אנשים שאם כל אחד יש לו את המצב שלו, את השאלה שלו, את המחשבה שלו, אנחנו שלום הכי טוב לכולם. שלום הכי טוב. אתה אומר שלום, שלום. מה, יותר משלום, מה, מה יש? שלום זה טוב, שלום לאלוהים. זה פוליטי, אבל אני אשאל בכל זאת. אתה מאמין בשלום בין יהודים וערבים? זה נוגע לפוליטיקה? אני לא יודע. כן, שלום זה לא פוליטיקה. אוקיי, שלום זה לא פוליטיקה. אז אתה מאמין בשלום. איך שאתה מגדיר את זה, זה בסדר, מה שאתה אומר. האם אתה מדבר עם פלסטינאים בשטחים, שנגיד שלא מאמינים בשלום? אומרים, אנחנו לא רואים שום... אנחנו לא סומכים על היהודים, אי אפשר לסמוך עליהם, אנחנו לא רוצים משלום בכלל. מה המסר שלך, בתור מישהו ש... ש... אתה חי עם יהודים, מה המסר שלך עליהם? המסר שלי יכול להיות לאנשים כאלה משני הצדדים. <אח> זה כל עוד אתה לא מכיר, אז uh, חבל לך לקחת מסקנות. זה אחד. דבר שני... כל עוד אני לא מכיר את הנקודת מבט שלהם, אז כדאי לי להמשיך ולנסות להבין אותם. כי אני לא במקומם, בטוח הם עוברים איזה משהו, שאני לא יודע בדיוק מה הוא. וזה הולך לשני הצדדים. גם אם אתה היית שואל מישהו יהודי או ערבי כאן, עם דעה קיצונית, אז הדעה הזאת היא התגבשה באיזושהי צורה, באיזשהם נסיבות, בגלל ש... בגלל... חוויות שלהם או... זה לא בגלל שהם מטומטמים, זה לא בגלל שהם אוהבים לשנוא. אז בקיצור, התשובה שלי היא סבלנות, חכה. תלמד יותר קצת, תבין מה האחר עבר וגם תכיר יותר אנשים ולא... להכיר מהצד אנשים... השני להכיר אנשים זה לא לקרוא את העיתון להכיר אנשים זה לעשות חברים זה גם לא לאכול חומוס ביפה זה 
זה להכיר אנשים. זה להכיר את הבעיות שלהם, מה שהם רוצים, מה שהם אוהבים, מה שהם שונאים, מה שהם משתוקקים אליו. חיי היומיום, והבעיות הגדולות שלהם, האהבות שלהם, האכזבות שלהם. הדברים המשותפים שיש לכולם, גם לפלסטיני ברמאללה וגם לקיצוני בני ברק או איפה שלא יהיה, אז לכולנו יש את ה... יש אותו חרא בסופו של דבר. כולנו סובלים מאותם כאבים, פחות או יותר. ולכולנו יש אותם חלומות. אותם חלומות, כן. בגדול, כן. להיות מאושרים, לאהוב. Um, so you believe in peace? You just told me. <laughs> For sure. Be, uh, between, between Jews and, and Palestinians, Israelis and Palestinians, however you want to... Go ahead. I believe that we live in one place. We're living together. So I think that we have to deal with it. We have to find a solution for this thing, not a conflict, but the, we have to give our rights, and you have to get your rights. So explain, explain what rights you don't have now. You were talking about it before. What rights? We don't learn uh, in our land. In, in our, university. In our land, yeah, in university. Everything is in Hebrew. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is uh, this one thing. The second thing that you didn't feel that you were, you're a part in this place, in this country. I don't feel I don't, I don't feel that I have ident identity here, so I don't have a flag. And well, why don't you? I, have I, I don't feel that. I don't feel that anything is connected to me here. So this was because everything is Zionist and Jewish. That's what you mean. Okay. That's right. You don't uh, you don't identify with the Palestinian flag? I do. I okay. Do. I do. No, no, I do. I do. Not judging. No, no, I do. I do. I do identify with them. Okay. And this is the problem so here. So you have to, to, to feel, to feel that you're strange in your own, country, not my country, but in your own place. I'm in my homeland. And I feel that I'm strange, but, but I'm connected to another part of this, of this country that they all the time have worn, you know. So, so just, just so difficult. To do you have a solution for that? How both sides can feel that they belong. Let's start from this from this point. To feel that, that we're equal to other people here. So what you're saying is because legally you're equal, according to the law, technically you're equal. Legal, yeah. However, but you're saying that in practice you don't feel it. We're not. Okay. We're not. Because the government obviously doesn't speak to you. I mean, they're giving, at the moment, they're giving a lot of money, but that's something different. That's to bring everyone up to the same level. But in terms of making you feel like you're part of being Israeli... I don't... I don't... How do you do that? First of all, I don't say that I'm an Israeli. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. So then how do you do it? If you have... If I feel Israeli, and you feel Palestinian, how do we live together? You can as, say something from as, the side, I won't kill you. <laughs> as we're dealing now with it, as we're dealing, as we're dealing now together. Okay. So, you are Jewish, and I'm Muslim. You're, I'm Palestinian, you are an Israeli one. But we're dealing with that. We, we, we have a connection. We have... Of equality. We talked about this before. I'm not at, giving you words, we actually talked about this before. Yeah. Okay. So, I think... It's not, it's not about the people, it's, it's the government, okay. it's, it's really, it's the work of the government, so... Now, if you could speak to the Palestinians on the West Bank, who don't believe that Jews and Arabs can be, can get along, do you have a message? Because they have their own, their own thoughts, their own... No, but do you have a message to them? Because you live with Jews, you study with Jews. Do I have a message to them? Well, I don't know. Is it possible to live for them it's, to live? It's possible if we look at each other like a human, yeah. As a human, yeah, but they have their own, their own problems, their own, their own, their own case. We have the, our, the same case, but we deal with it in a different way than them. 
So I think. Do you think maybe they should deal with it in a, in a way that's closer to your way, like a, a meaning? They're not treated like us. That's why they. They're, they're not treated. They're not, yeah. West Bank Palestinians aren't treated the same way as Israeli Arabs. Therefore, because of the fact they don't have rights, they don't have the same rights, or they're, they're not facing. They don't say what? They don't face the same, the same things. They don't face the same no, things. Yeah. אתה עובד פה בווילו, אתה עובד עם יהודים, יש לך חברים יהודים? אוקיי. מה? אוקיי, דבר קצת יותר. אז מה המסר שלך לפלסטינאים שם, בגדה, שאף פעם לא פגשו יהודי והם שונאים יהודים כי הם שומעים על המלחמה כל הזמן? שאפשר, כאילו אתה חושב שאפשר להסתדר בין מוסלמים ויהודים? כן? לא, כל אחד. כן, אבל אתה יכול, יש לך חברים, נכון? אני כן. אפילו אם יש לך דעות שונות. אני מאמין עם הדעות שלי, אני יכול להסתדר עם כל אחד. כן? לא משנה מה. אתם עובדים עם יהודים, יש לכם חברים יהודים? כל יום, אנחנו חיים על יהודים, אני התחתן עם רוסייה. מה? אשתי רוסייה. אה, אוקיי, מרקע יהודית. כן. אוקיי, בסדר. אז מה המסר שלכם לפלסטינאים בצד השני, שהם אומרים, כאילו הם אומרים שאי אפשר להסתדר? אפשר להסתדר, נכון? ברור שאפשר להסתדר, אין דבר כזה שאי אפשר להסתדר. יש לך מסר? כאילו... ברור, תתחילו לחיות, עזבו את הפוליטיקה. אז אפשר. <laughs> what is your message to other Palestinians that coexistence is possible, we can live with Jews and, and Palestinians together? Go ahead. Jamil Mohamed. واحد وعشرين سنة سكان المفاهيم. You have to translate simultaneously. So his his name is Jamil. Jamil that I got. He's from Umm Al-Fakhem. One one years old. He's from Umm Al-Fakhem. Okay. إنه بوجه رسالة للناس اللي اللي بتقول إنه مش لازم إنه نعيش مع اليهود أو لازم. So I direct my message to the people. say that coexistence is impossible. And here I am, I work uh, here in the Um al Fakhim gallery, we see a lot of people who show uh, their true will to like to show that coexistence is, is possible. Jews, Jews come here. Jews, right? yeah. Uh, مش الحل الوحيد إنه نقتل أو نتكاثر دائما. Killing and fighting isn't the only solution. في طبعا أخر حل اللي هو إنه نقعد على نفس الطاولة ونتفاهم. There's another solution which is to sit on the same table face to face and talk. طبعا إحنا شفنا كثير ناس اللي هم بيحبوا إنهم يتعرفوا علينا أكثر من إنهم يجوا يأذونا. We saw we met a lot of people who came interested in getting to know us. وإحنا وظيفتنا هون إنه نعرف شو إحنا عن جد ونشدد على عاداتنا وتراثنا وتقاليدنا ومش إنه نتخلى عنها. And we our work our job here is to introduce ourselves properly and not to let go of our heritage and history. فمشان هيك أنا شايف إنه لازم نقعد على نلقى حل واحد ونحاول نحل مشاكلنا. بتفاهم تروي ومش عن طريق القتل اللي هو بالتالي عنف. and that's why I think it's very important for both sides to sit at the same table and talk because there is another another way not by killing and harming others. so they say they've been talking for 20 years and nothing and it and the situation is worse. ولنا حد جهة ثانية بتقول إنه بحشوا إنهم عشرين سنة بس الوضع كان بيصير أسوأ وأسوأ. okay so شو بتقول أنت عن هذا الشيء؟ تصدق انت يعني انه احنا طبعا ما نفقدش الامل انه نلقى بالاخر طريقه انه نعيش واحد جنب الثاني مش ضروري 
Okay, we don't. We, we wouldn't lose. We uh, we wouldn't lose hope that you know coexistence is possible. ممكن في نفس ال ممكن نفس المحل نعيش مع بعض بجزء إنه نعيش كل واحد لحاله بس طبعا في سلام. But it's possible that we will have coexistence. Maybe we will live. Uh, both sides won't live together in, exa- in exactly the same place, but coexistence will be going on between the two sides. What do you mean, not in the same place? Like meaning, like an Arab town and a Jewish town. Ah, okay. We won't be like next door neighbors, yeah. but we'll always be together in some yeah. way. Yeah. That's why we wouldn't lose hope, because it could be in the same state or outside of the state. Hey guys, if you want us to come here to Palestine to learn more about what Palestinians think and see gorgeous pieces of fruit, please help us by subscribing, donating to the project so we can come even further.